So as you can see, EA have brought out the base for here upgrade. I'm going to tell you how to grind it. We have it is there for a week, so there's going to be two methods to this. One is going to be using the upgrades that we have available with us now, which is going to be 80 plus the team of the week, and as well as some of the warm ups and the daily logins. But we'll also get another set of upgrades on the following Monday, most likely, so you can use them as well. So that being said. Let's start off with the low method first. So let's say you haven't got many coins and you're looking to grind it over the weekend, etc. At this minute in time, all bronze cards sell for 200 coins at minimum. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but when you're opening up bronze packs to go into the methods, you can see there, they're not even loading up for 200 now. But when you're going through the method and everything like that, it takes a lot of coins away doing the bronze pack method. But when you can make coins like this, for example, 200 coins... Per card, it means you basically don't lose anything. So that being said, we are going to go through this method now, or bronze pack method. And basically, what you want to do is, if you don't care about saving packs, open up the gold packs you get for doing the daily login. Open up any other packs you want to open. I'm saving them for the promo myself. I think that's still the move to do on Friday. But let's go and open up these. So let's say you got ten thousand coins that you want to spend on this method to get yourself started. You just want to open up as many bronze packs as you can, and basically sell anything that's worth anything so this guy is currently coming in around the price of let me double check because we need him for the new SBC that's come out so he looks like he's going to be about 300 coins there so that's perfect so we're going to start for 300 so we got to make another 450 plus 100 coins here which is going to be 450 some of these kits normally sell but we're not going to check them today discard everything else and we've got ourselves here 550 600 so these two cards are basically going to be for free because these are going to sell as well by the looks of it so we know they sell for 200 and then you can decide to keep the guy that doesn't sell or you can sell him as well until you go back round. So he's need 200, so we're going to keep him. So if you were to buy that card off the market, you're looking at 200 coins. So we actually saved ourselves coins because we didn't spend any coins on that pack because of everything we got. If you get yourself a rare, some of these are worth a lot more than others. So let's say we got ourselves a major nation here. We can check and apparently he's not worth that much, no problem. So we're going to list him up for 250 because that's the minimum price for rares. And we're going to check this Real Madrid player. So he looks like he is going to be around the price of 500, maybe 400. So 300 coins, that's not a problem. So we got ourselves there, 550 coins back. We're going to discard everything else. And we got ourselves 180 on top of that. So let's just say you wanted to sell this guy as well. You could sell him for 200 and then you'd not lose any coins. We're going to keep him because you want to keep at least a few bronzes every time. And you're going to go through this method until you spend that 10,000 coins or until you start getting lots of duplicates of bronzes. So just to show you this last one, we'll go through this pack here. And as you can see, we get ourselves a manager, not really worth anything. But it could be worth keeping some managers just in case we get some SBCs, like a, for example, George Best or something like that. But I don't think it's going to be worth it with the Northern Ireland one, that is for sure. As he's not worth anything, so that's fine. Then we've got ourselves a Spanish centre mid. And we'll see how much he is worth at this current time. So he's coming at 200, so we're going to list him up for 200, and the same for the English guy as well. I imagine he is going to be 200 minimum, and we'll keep the Saudi Arabian goalkeeper. So let's say you've been doing that for a long, long time, and now here's what you're going to need to do. So for the next one, there are a few things you can do. You're going to go back to Squad Builder Challenges, and you want to go under Icons, and this is really important. Let's say you're doing Samuel Eto'o, for example. You want to complete these two SBCs because you need 11 rare silvers and 11 rare golds. You get yourself a small electron players pack back for these or a two gold rare pack. These are tradable and they will get you some coins back. So let me just complete this one quick with some bronze rares that I've got. So as you can see, we have completed it with all the bronze rares we've got. If you don't have any bronze rares, don't buy them. Do the bronze pack method, pack the rares, and then sell everything else until you've got that. So what we get back from that was a small Electrons pack, which is going to be three gold, three silver, one rare, which is going to help us out massively, especially if we get something tradable here. It's decent. But it's going to help us out massively doing the upgrades that we're about to go into. So as you can see here, got a few cards to see if any of these are worth anything to try and get our coins back. So these are going to be about 300, not a problem. Sell him. And the same for this guy as well. It's like all silvers have gone up in price. So he's 300. So that's 600. That's almost a bronze pack back. And then we've got ourselves a striker here who's going to be 300. So that's going to be one bronze pack back. And then you can decide whether to sell these commons if they are duplicate or keep them. But we're going to keep them. So we're going to move on to the next step now. So the next step would be put all the bronzes into this silver upgrade. Get the two silver backs. You put the one rare into Samueto and you put the common into these gold common upgrades here. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy. Select your payment method and don't forget to add code Nanic for 6% off on all orders. You want to do this SBC twice so you get yourself three commons back 
And what happened then is you can complete 180 plus. The 80 plus here, what we're looking for is we have to have exactly gold, but one rare. Because we've managed to finish off some of the stuff from Eto, we got ourselves some commons, which was going to be a dunk. And we can put anybody else in here, it doesn't matter. And a little trick for you, if you didn't know, is Libertadores cards and Sudamericanas actually count towards the SBC. So as long as they're 75 rated and above, they count as the rare. So as you can see here, we've got no gold rares, but we have got the rare ticked off being the Libertadores. So we're going to open this. And what you're going to do is basically go through this process as many times as you possibly can. And you want to look for informs or any sort of high rated fodder, of course, to put into the Hero SBC. If you're not getting very lucky with the informs, you can either buy them, which I wouldn't really recommend doing, or go and do a uh, team of the week upgrade to get yourself a team of the week back. So we get a certain 80 plus here. Let's see what we get out of it. Obviously, there's no special cards. EA are basically trying to enter your club at the moment, but this is going to be a good move just to be able to get this underway. So you see that we've got ourselves an 84 Martinez, which is perfect for the first part of the SBC for the hero. So as you can see, with the hero, you need an 84 rated team, but we need two 86s or higher, and then we need three 86s or higher in this one. We're a team of the week. So we've got ourselves an 84, which we can put into that SBC, or we can go all the way over to our 80 plus upgrade team of the week. And as you can see here, for this one, you need to have at least 384. So if you don't have any team of the weeks, you can put your Martinez into this. Once you've done this process and we'll check our sold and we've sold all of our silvers and our bronzes that we've packed, you can then repeat the cycle as we have not spent any coins. You see here we sold a couple bronzes already. These are the silvers that I had in my club from trading earlier. And we've still got a few more bronzes for sale at the end here and the three silvers that we've packed. And that's basically the process of it. So just to show you one more time in terms of you don't know what to do to get gold commons. I won't personally buy the gold commons if you're looking to save coins because bronzes are up so much. Because of this position modifier and because of this SBC here, you can use bronzes and all of these. You can use a whole team of bronze and one goal player and that should get you over the rating, that is for sure. But again, it's obviously down to your preference on coins, but this is the most low budget way of doing it. And then once you've done the silver a couple times and got yourself some commons, you can pack informs in these commons if their base cards are commons. But you see you need exactly silvers. That's why we have to do the silver upgrade into bronze. If you have any more questions, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.